The billionaire twins Cameron and Tyler Winklevoss cryptocurrency exchange Gemini will reimburse clients of its now-closed lending program at least $1.1 billion in addition to paying a $37 million fine for engaging in risky and unsound business activities. While a separate case from New York Attorney General Letitia James is still pending, the regulator said on Wednesday that the fund is a part of a deal with the New York Department of Financial Services. During the November 2022 crypto market crisis, Gemini's Earn program, which it was offering in collaboration with cryptocurrency lender Genesis Global Capital, was suspended. Due to this disruption, Genesis filed for bankruptcy, which sparked a protracted legal battle involving Genesis, Gemini, and digital currency group, Genesis' parent firm. Following a round of cuts, a video showing the twins, each worth $1.4 billion according to Forbes, performing journeys, don't stop believing, with their cover band went viral, sparking criticism. The group went through a round of layoffs in 2022 and 2023. This month, James tripled the amount of the alleged fraud scheme of cryptocurrency companies Genesis and Gemini to over $3 billion by expanding her complaint against them. The updated complaint expands upon a lawsuit that James filed in October against the Twin Brothers Exchange, Gemini Trust, and Digital Currency Group, which includes its Genesis Global Capital Unit. She asserted that by misrepresenting the Gemini Earn program, which allowed users to lend cryptocurrency assets to Genesis in exchange for a high rate of return, they led investors to lose more than $1 billion. The deception conducted by DCG through Genesis also ensnared investors who contributed money directly to Genesis and were erroneously persuaded their money was safe, the Attorney General stated as additional investors came forward. According to the complaint, many of the extra investors were small retail clients, such as a stay-at-home father and a chiropractor who each invested $2 million in Bitcoin with Genesis. James claims that over 230,000 investors were duped, and she is requesting more than $3 billion in compensation. Stronger cryptocurrency rules are required to safeguard all investors, James stated in a statement. This illegal cryptocurrency scheme and the horrific financial losses that real people have suffered are yet another reminder of that. Two other defendants are Soichiro Moro, the former CEO of Genesis, and Barry Silbert, the CEO of DCG. In a statement, a DCG representative said, there is nothing new here. This is just the same unfounded allegation being repeated in an attempt to create more newsworthy headlines. We're going to fight the claims hard, and we're going to win. Barry Silbert and DCG will be completely vindicated since DCG has always operated ethically and properly. Gemini's earn clients, who haven't been able to access the money in those accounts since late 2022, are now one step closer to getting their money back thanks to the agreement with the New York Department of Financial Services. NYDFS announced on Wednesday that it will not relinquish its right to pursue additional legal action against Gemini in the event that the firm fails to satisfy its duty to reimburse customers for at least $1.1 billion after Genesis bankruptcy is resolved. According to the regulator, Gemini promised to pay $40 million toward Genesis bankruptcy settlement so that earned consumers would benefit. The Winklevoss twins, Cameron and Tyler Winklevoss, are the CEOs of Gemini. They gained national notoriety for their legal dispute with Mark Zuckerberg, the CEO of Meta Platforms. The collapse of their joint crypto lending relationship led to the company's prior lawsuit against DCG. In December 2020, the two businesses teamed to give Gemini users the option to loan their cryptocurrency holdings to Genesis in exchange for interest, with the goal of eventually collecting cryptocurrency holdings from investors valued at billions of dollars. According to the NYDFS, Gemini neglected to keep sufficient reserves and failed to keep an eye on Genesis during the EARN program. NYDFS Superintendent Adrian Harris said in a statement that Gemini failed to conduct due diligence on an unregulated third party, later accused of massive fraud, harming earned customers who were suddenly unable to access their assets after Genesis Global Capital experienced a financial meltdown. Earned customers, who have a right to the assets they entrusted to Gemini, have won with today's settlement. 
Gemini stated in a blog post that it has sought the return of their assets and advocated for Earn users over the past 15 months. With this settlement, Gemini is grateful to the New York Department of Financial Services, DFS, for its assistance in providing Earn users with a coin-for-coin -coin reimbursement. Genesis filed into bankruptcy in January 2023 and is now closing. Gemini, the investment firm founded by the Winklevoss twins and well-known for their legal disputes with Mark Zuckerberg, promoted Earn as low-risk, despite internal assessments indicating Genesis's financial situation was precarious, according to James. Genesis combined the money into large loans for significant participants in the cryptocurrency market, which at one point included an almost $2 billion loan to Sam Bankman-Fried, the disgraced founder of FTX, through his hedge fund, Alameda Research. James claims that the Alameda loan was one of the riskier and less secure loans that Gemini and Genesis withheld from Earn investors, even though it was recalled before FTX's collapse sending shockwaves through the cryptocurrency market. Days following FTX's collapse in November 2022, Genesis allegedly halted withdrawals and owed over 232,000 Earn investors, including at least 29,000 latest Yorkers, at least $1 billion, according to the latest lawsuit. It came to an agreement with James' office late on Thursday, paying for her fraud claims as long as it reimburses customers in full through the Chapter 11 procedure. The consent of a bankruptcy judge is necessary for that arrangement. Two months after Sam Bankman-Fried's FTX Bitcoin exchange collapsed and Gemini Earn users' withdrawals were stopped, Genesis filed for bankruptcy. The U.S. Securities and Exchange Commission also filed lawsuits against Genesis and Gemini, claiming that they disregarded disclosure obligations designed to safeguard Gemini Earn clients. Genesis consented last week to pay the SEC a $21 million fine, subject to Genesis paying back its clients first. Meanwhile, DCG's failure in their crypto lending relationship has led Gemini to file a lawsuit against them.